One way to look at the leading automobile in the world is through the eyes of a statistician. He might point out that one of the reasons Chevrolet became the leader is that it has the habit of being first with new ideas and features. A Chevrolet engineer might tell you Chevy's leadership is due to a combination of things. Smooth ride, dependable performance, easy handling, comfortable interiors, and many other features that give people more of what they want in an automobile. To see how true this is, suppose we compare Chevrolet with a cross-section of competitive cars. We'll take the Plymouth, Dodge Polara, Dodge Dart, and Mercury Meteor, and we'll begin by comparing Chevrolet with three cars that are very much alike. The Plymouth, Dodge Polara, and Dodge Dart. These three cars use the same type of body structures and suspensions, and basically the same engines and transmissions. Of course, all three have some styling differences. But the Polara and Dart are practically twins, except for variations in trim, rear fenders, and taillights. The Plymouth, unlike the Polara and Dart, has a narrow grill. It's been said that Plymouth's front-end treatment resembles that of the rear of the 1958 Chevrolet. When it comes to exterior dimensions, the Polara has a four-inch longer wheelbase than both Plymouth and Dart, and is nearly three inches longer. However, the Dart is as wide as the Polara. Both are almost two inches narrower than Plymouth. All three are practically the same height. Inside, the Polara, Plymouth, and Dart have practically identical seating dimensions. A close look at these three cars does reveal many similarities. But let's see how they compare with Chevrolet. To begin with, Chevrolet's high-luster magic mirror acrylic lacquer is ultra-smooth, much like the skin of an apple. This durable finish can be repaired economically by spotting in. Surveys prove that acrylic lacquer retains its gloss substantially better than other finishes, such as the synthetic enamel used by Plymouth, Polara, and Dart. A close look at this finish shows that it has chalking tendencies and a rougher texture, much like that of an orange peel. What's more, enamel is more expensive to repair because an entire section has to be refinished. Note that Chevrolet's parking and direction signal lights are up high where they're easy to see. But in Plymouth, Polara, and Dart, the parking lights are low and hard to see. A full wraparound front bumper in Chevy means full protection of the fender. Plymouth's bumper doesn't wrap around completely, leaving much of the fender area unprotected. Then, too, Plymouth's bumper is a dirt and snow catcher, making for an unsightly appearance and the possibility of corrosion and rust. When you move around to the rear, you'll see that Chevrolet has a lower trunk sill. It's five and a half inches closer to the ground than Plymouth's and three inches closer than both Dodge cars, making the Chevy trunk easier to load and unload. In addition, Chevrolet's trunk is designed for big and bulky items. Because of the trunk well and the big dimensions in length and width, you can put five milk cans and two egg crates in the trunk and close the lid. Think of it. Two 10-gallon milk cans and three 5-gallon milk cans plus two 30-dozen egg crates. You can get all these items in the Chevy trunk, close the lid, and have room to spare. Now, these facts take on more meaning once you realize that you can't close the trunk lid when you put milk cans upright in the Plymouth and Dodge trunks. And this isn't just an appeal to the rural markets. It's definite proof of Chevy's ability to carry bulky loads easily, as well as more luggage of the ordinary kind. Here's another example of how Chevy accents the more practical things. Even opening the doors is easier with Chevy because you can get a good grip on the solid man-sized door handles. Plymouth and the Dodges have refrigerator-type door handles, which are awkward to use. Now, if you're tall, you'll find that Chevrolet is easier to get in and out of. That's because there's more front and rear entrance room than in either the Plymouth, Polara, or Dart. Once you're inside, you have more front and rear headroom, more rear hip room, and higher rear seats in Chevy than in either the Plymouth, Polara, or Dart. Yes, Chevy has more room for relaxing. Soft foam cushion comfort is standard in all seats of Chevy Bel Air and Impalas. 
However, foam cushion rear seats are extra cost in Polara and the Dart Phoenix and Pioneer models and not available in Dart Seneca models or any Plymouth model. Remember the vase in the fine cars of many years ago? It was a symbol of luxury, comfort, and convenience. Even though the 1961 Chevrolet doesn't use the symbol, it's full of luxury, comfort, and convenience features that are either extra cost or not available at all on the Plymouth, Polara, and Dart. Chevy's crank-operated ventipanes can be quickly and easily opened and adjusted precisely for desired ventilation. But Plymouth's, Polaris, and Dart's push-pull ventipanes are difficult to adjust and can be rough on fingernails. In every Chevrolet, the glove box is within easy reach of the driver. In Plymouth, as well as the Dodges, you have to reach way over to get at the glove box, which can be dangerous when driving. Extra value features on the Chevrolet Impalas include armrest reflectors, parking brake warning light, electric clock, deluxe steering wheel, and backup lights. These items are either extra cost or not available on any Plymouth, Polara, and Dart model. In Chevrolet, one key operates the ignition and all locks. Furthermore, Chevy's keyless ignition operation is ideal on parking lots. You can lock the glove box and trunk and take the key with you. The attendant can then start the car and park it as necessary. With Plymouth or with either Dodge, you need two keys. It's mighty annoying to try to use the wrong key, say when you have your arms full of groceries or when it's raining. What's more, the Plymouth, Polara, and Dart do not offer the convenience of keyless ignition operation. For extra convenience in Chevrolet, you can lock the front doors from the outside without the key, simply by using the push buttons. With Plymouth, Polara, and Dart, you need the key to lock the front doors from the outside. When you drive a Chevrolet, you get the efficient, quiet operation of hydraulic valve lifters in all of Chevy's engines designed for normal driving. Valves are supported on a cushion of oil that eliminates looseness and linkage, adjusts valve clearances automatically, and hushes valve noises. All Plymouth and Dart engines have mechanical valve lifters which can get noisy, much like the sound of a sewing machine. They require periodic adjustments, which of course add to maintenance costs. Because of its vertical design, the weight of Chevrolet's High Thrift 6 is distributed almost equally between the front wheels. This means that both wheels carry about the same amount of weight making for ideal handling characteristics. On the other hand, the Plymouth and Dart slanted six-cylinder engines tend to have their weight concentrated on the right side of the car. This unequal loading of the front wheels can be compared with an unbalanced seesaw with the heavy end on the ground and the light end up in the air. Thus, Plymouth and Dart could have erratic handling and uneven tire wear. In V8s, too, Chevrolet has better features than Plymouth and the two Dodges. For instance, Chevy V8s have up to 12% shorter piston strokes. This means less wear for longer-lasting engines. In addition, Chevy V8s take one quart less oil at each refill than Plymouth, Polara, and Dart V8s. Now, compare transmissions. Chevrolet's Power Glide and Turbo Glide are operated by selector levers designed for natural right-hand use. In addition, both have a mechanical parking lock. Power flight and torque flight in Plymouth, Polara, and Dart have awkward to use push buttons that must be operated by the left hand. What's more, neither transmission has a mechanical parking lock. Chevrolet's triple turbine turbo glide goes through all speed ranges without the hint of a shift, much like the smooth takeoff of a jet airplane. For downhill braking, TurboGlide has the exclusive grade retarder, which uses oil and turbines to increase braking by the engine. In Plymouth, Polara, and Dart, the automatic transmissions shift gears. They use gears for downhill braking, too. Next, spin the wheel of a roller skate and sense the easy-turning ball bearings in Chevy's ball race steering gear. Then, turn the crank of a hand-operated meat grinder and sense the operation of the harder turning worm and roller gear in Plymouth and the two Dodges. Come rain, sleet, or snow, Chevy's overlapping wiper blades clear practically the entire windshield. 
Plymouth, Polara, and Dart wipers leave an uncleared area in the middle of the windshield. Furthermore, Chevrolet has a bigger windshield in all models and more total glass area in four-door sedans than Plymouth, Polara, and Dart. Besides, Chevrolet has safety plate glass in all windows as well as the windshield. Safety plate glass gives the finest in viewing because it's ground and polished on both sides. Safety sheet glass in Plymouth and Dodge side windows is not ground and polished on any side. For smooth going, Chevy rides on a coil spring at each wheel and an advanced four-link rear suspension. Each has a specific function. The springs do one primary job, and that's to soften up and down movements. The four links control movements of the rear axle when braking and accelerating. Plymouth, Dart, and Polara use torsion bars at the front. The torsion bars look like what they are, straight steel rods. Torsion bars are excellent springing devices, but they're better suited for heavy vehicles. That's why Chevrolet uses them for front springs on trucks. Plymouth and the two Dodges use leaf springs at the rear to take up road shocks as well as braking and accelerating forces. They react the same as an archer's bow at each rear wheel. We're all familiar with the sudden snapping action of the bow when the string is released to shoot the arrow. Leaf springs operate much the same way when the car wheels hit a bump. You can readily see why Plymouth, Polara, and Dart give you a ride that's bouncy, not smooth like Chevy's. Whether it's the high-level parking lights or the advanced four-link rear suspension, Chevrolet has the advantages over Plymouth and the Dodge, Polara, and Dart. To see just how extensive Chevrolet's advantages are, let's look at other 1961 automobiles. Which is the Ford? Well, it's the car at the top. The other car is the Mercury Meteor, although it does resemble Ford strongly. Actually, the Mercury Meteors, the 600 and 800, and Ford are very similar. Their engine and transmission lineups and the chassis are practically identical. But what about Chevrolet and Meteor? First, Chevrolet has more seating room than Meteor, more front leg room and hip room, and more rear head room and leg room. Chevrolet's trunk is much easier to load because the trunk sill is nearly seven inches lower than Meteor's. With Chevy, you have to lift only as high as a coffee table. But with Meteor, you have to lift as high as a desk. And remember, you can stand a two-suitor upright in the Chevy trunk. This type of bag must be laid flat in a Meteor. Consider the rigidity of Chevrolet's X-built safety girder frame. Think of it as two triangles put together. Triangle sections, as in bridges, are the strongest types of structures in use. With Chevy's frame, road shocks are absorbed and distributed with less bending and twisting of frame members than in box-type frames. Meteor's box-type frame can be compared with a picture frame. When you exert a lot of force on any corner of the frame, the frame will give. In the same way, road shocks might distort the Meteor frame, causing a jolting and weaving ride. We're all familiar with the riding advantages of Chevrolet's coil springs and four-link rear suspension, and especially those advantages over cars with leaf springs at the rear. Well, the Meteor is another automobile with leaf springs at the rear. Meteor is advertising self-adjusting brakes. Actually, Meteor brakes are a conventional design, except for a ratchet-type adjuster that's supposed to take up slack caused by lining wear. This device is so critical that a slight burr, nick, or rust could cause improper operation. The Meteor owner may save money on brake adjustments, but he may also be stuck with a bill for complicated repairs. Another thing, there's the possibility of uneven brake adjustments with Meteor. For example, one wheel may grab before the other three. Result, the possibility of Meteor pulling to one side when braking. Chevy's brake linings are bonded. Meteors are riveted. Bonded linings last up to twice as long as riveted linings because riveted types must be replaced once they wear down to the rivet heads. What's more, rivets can score Meteor's brake drums. The Meteor also talks about 30,000 mile lubrications. 
These intervals are for three points only, universal joints, front suspension, and steering linkage. The owner's manual also recommends servicing of other items at intervals of 4,000, 6,000, 10,000, 12,000, and 24,000 miles. Compare six-cylinder engines. Chevy's High Thrift 6 has a gas-saving automatic choke and quiet hydraulic valve lifters. The Meteor six-cylinder engine has a hand choke. Even though Meteor talks about self-adjusting tappets on the six and shows them in the shop manual, latest information indicates that these tappets are scheduled for later production. This feature, however, is nothing more than a spring-activated eccentric on the rocker arm for cutting down tappet noise. Chevrolet V8s have up to 26% shorter piston strokes than Meteor V8s, making for longer-lasting engines. In addition, Chevy V8s require only four quarts of oil at each refill, one quart less than Meteor V8s. Yes, you get better going in a Chevy because of better engines, a more advanced chassis, and more seating room. Add to these the benefits of better visibility in a Chevrolet. The windshield is 9% bigger than the Meteor's. Chevy's electric wipers don't slow down as do Meteor's vacuum wipers. Then too, Chevy has safety plate glass all around. The Meteor uses safety plate glass in the windshield and safety sheet glass in the windows. Here are other Chevrolet advantages over Meteor. Magic mirror acrylic lacquer instead of enamel. Crank operated ventipanes instead of push-pull types. Keyless front door locking, keyless ignition operation, and one key for the ignition and all locks. So the 1961 Chevrolet offers more value than the Mercury Meteors. Yes, Chevrolet takes the lead over Mercury Meteor, Dodge Dart, Dodge Polara, and Plymouth in everything that counts most for more enjoyable motoring. No matter how you look at cars, through the eyes of a statistician, an engineer, an owner, or through point-for-point -point comparisons. The leader, Chevrolet, looks better and is better. Yes, looking at the leader points up Chevrolet's extra values, values which are really accented by driving the leader.